Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Tis Tuesday, 4.15. I have had a very busy day. I scheduled all my meetings for this week for this morning so I can get them done and out of the way. So I spent the morning on the phone, Teams calls, etc., all that kind of stuff, getting all that shit done. And then I have just spent the afternoon uh, doing a bunch of other day job shit. We'll just leave it at that. Now, what I have done at home is that I decided that I was being a pathetic whiny little bitch for not doing more with the lighting. So I climbed up my trusty stepladder in the kitchen and looked at least wanted to look at that light, like the chandelier, if you want to call it that, that I wanted to take out and then just plate over. It, it was two wires in the ground. So I unscrewed them put the cap back on, taped the caps on there really well, and shoved them up into the thing and removed that stupid, ugly ass sh chandelier. So that's done. I'm on my way to Home Depot now to return the gaskets that I bought for the sink that I didn't need and to buy a cap for that hole that's now in the ceiling. I went back and looked at the other sconce that was at the bottom of the stairwell to see if I indeed was being a whiny little bitch about it, and I am. While there are what looks like multiple wires in there, there's still only two wires. So I literally only have to, to connect those two wires. And I have to put the different base bar on there so that I can adhere the sconce to the wall. But other than that, that's it. So I don't need an electrician for that. All right, let's go buy a plate and maybe some lighting. Okay, so I went in and I returned my gaskets. No problem. But then, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing, I looked all over the place for those plates. It took me longer than it should have to find them. And I did find something. Hopefully it will work. I think that they're all standard as far as how far apart the screw holes go, but I, I, I guess I'll find out when I go home. And if it, if it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, I guess I'm going back to Home Depot. The other thing that I did was I bought a light for the kitchen to replace the god-awful fluorescence. So I got this big 15-inch thing with brushed nickel so that it sort of matches the, you know, the stainless steel look that we got going on. It's an LED. Now, the reason that I got that 15-inch one was because it was the brightest one out of the ones that I was looking at. Because I originally got one that was like a two-tier black thing. And then I looked at another thing and I looked and I looked and I started seeing that, that uh, you know, they weren't as bright. Now, I have no idea how bright the ones are in my kitchen now. Also, I don't know the temperature of the light because this one goes everywhere from like 2,500 to, to 5,000 and, and it, maybe even more than that. Somewhere in there, it, it can be warm or it can be cool or it can be somewhere in the middle. It's got five different things that you can select before you mount it. You know, I just want it to be bright. When I turn on a light, I want to be able to see what the hell's going on in the kitchen. I'm not really worried like, oh, it's so bright in here, you know, or anything like that. Or, ooh, it's so warm. I kind of feel like I want to have a warm cup of cocoa and just sit in the kitchen. No, I want to be able to see what the hell I'm doing and I don't want it to buzz. So I got probably a light that was bigger than I needed to get that was more expensive than I needed to get, but I don't give a shit because I want this crap done. So I have determined that I will do those sconces myself. I will do the chandelier in the dining room area, whatever you want to call it, even though it's never ever been used as that. Uh, I can probably do that myself because I just have to hook up two wires. And then I will leave the ripping out that awful fluorescent shit and installing this new one that I got to the dude that's that's probably gonna be coming tomorrow. We're gonna go home and we're going to look at sconces and see how easy that is to do. Plus I'm gonna install this plate and then we'll go from there. Not too much exciting going on, but as you can see, such is life. Life is not always a grand photographic adventure with beautiful people. Sometimes it's just a dumb monkey ripping shit out of his house and hanging light fixtures. Let's go do that. Okay, kids. Busy little monkey. Gonna show you what I did. And yes, I'm out of breath because I'm out of condition. Da 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 da. Oops. Ooh. ooh. Ah. So here's the new sconce. Was not difficult at all. I just psyched myself out. 
There's that one. And then, inst the kitchen, took out the ugly chandelier that was hanging here and just capped it. So now we don't really need the light over there at all. But I mean, all the wires still there, we can do it if we want to or put a small one in. Now this travesty, this is gonna have to go away. And that's what I will uh, use the fix it guy for. Out of breath, man, running up and down the stairs, carrying the ladders and all that shit. So uh, we're getting there. I mean, really, the kitchen's just about done with the exception of getting rid of this freaking horrible fluorescent light. And that's it, the sconces are done. Now I will probably also have the fix it guy who, who's supposed to be here tomorrow do the chandelier in there but it wasn't that difficult in here to remove that. I didn't realize how simple it was. So I'm probably gonna get up and try to do it, but I don't know if I can do it by myself. That's the only problem. So I'll get it started and put together and all that shit and I'll look it over that way when he gets here, he just, you know, I just have to help him get it up there and attach the wires and all that shit and then rip this freaking thing out. Now it's time to make dinner. Okay, so here's dinner. And now I'm going to go eat, so that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.